guys, um, I have a die, here's our die cast here, uh, of, uh, Dick Trickles number eight, Snickers Buick Regal, look at that sexy beast, um, this is known as the first Snickers NASCAR car, um, as Mars is leaving NASCAR, after 2022, uh, I want to do a tribute. I like that paint scheme. It's because it's GM. You know, I have the uh, Ken Schrader. Let me put my phone up here. M&M's one right there. I got an MIS at once. Right there, 36. Um, honestly, right. But, yeah. Let's see for M&M's was with Fords or Toyota. They used to be with GM. General Motors. But the fact, I'm a huge, like, I love when Buick was in NASCAR. They should come back. The only thing is that Buick doesn't have any sedans anymore. Spain without the S. Um, yeah, so, um, I wonder what it's going to be like without the Chevy Camaro in NASCAR after 2024. A lot of car companies seem to be getting rid of cars, and they're just making, like, SUVs and trucks. And I'm like, <laughs> that's funny. I'm wondering, what's NASCAR going to do? You know, when there's no, like, I mean, the Mustang is still made. The Dodge is still made. The Camaro is still being made. I don't know. if I think it's a rumor that it's not going to be made in 2024. Let's hope not. Mary Barra or Barra, whatever the hell it's called, the um, current CEO GM, please keep the Camaro, please, the last hope of GM and American muscle cars, please, but yeah, hope she uh, doesn't decide to stop making that, I hope it's just a rumor, hope they bring back the Oldsmobile Cutlass, that'd be cool, uh, they have a concept, so many concept, the Oldsmobile Cutlass is the best, I actually bought recently, we'll do another diecast review, a stock car of it, from, uh, what's it called, uh, Johnny Lightning, Yeah. Um, but anyways, see, so yeah, it's Dick Triple's Buick Regal. Here's the front end. The Buick. Hey. Yeah. Um, it's actually I got it from eBay. The back here. I always keep the backs. This is a vintage one from Kmart's. I think that's what they sold this originally at. Back then, it was only a dollar, or no, it's like she was 99 cents. Nowadays, this, was, was, this cost me like five bucks, so it's inflation, you know. See, it's the thing now, um, inflation, I noticed like more things aren't free shipping anymore. That's an issue. Not on Amazon, but on eBay. I'm still loyal to eBay. eBay is awesome. You can find anything on eBay. <laughs> um, Amazon's not bad. I, I, I like Amazon's okay. I buy all my, like, rear-end parts on, yeah, well, not rear-end, but more like drivetrain and transmission parts for the cart on Amazon, or some of them, and then mostly, like, the sprocket, rear sprocket gear, that's about it. <laughs> um, I think everything else I buy on e from eBay or No Limit Carts and Parts in Owasso, or Jags, or... See, late automotive, um, they're not in, they don't have a lot in stock for certain things. They do, but I guess, I don't know. Um, I love to use late automotive, and yeah, all-star performance I buy from, too. I have their tire spoon tool, that's about it, but I could use, let's see, uh, I'd buy other tools from them, but yeah. Maybe some wrenches. They make those, they make wrenches, too, uh, for ANs, so like, um, Hose fittings, that's what ANs are. Um, they have two, four, six, eight, ten. They have like even that one, like where it's one wrench all size in one. They have that one that goes to 20 AN and then one that goes only to 10 AN. Yeah. So, yeah.